Okay, so today's video, I am gonna be talking all about one of my favorite images. If you've seen any of my other videos, then you know what image it is. It is the Sacred Heart of Jesus. I have a lot of kind of stories to tell you. I'm gonna share with you my stories at the end. This first part, I'm gonna kind of talk about um, enrolling our families and our homes in the Sacred Heart of Jesus. So if you are new here, please definitely subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell button down below to get notifications. Um, but I'm gonna be talking about the this amazing image. So Jesus appeared to St. Margaret Mary in the 1600s and just encouraged her to kind of spread this image throughout the world. And I absolutely love this image. I have personally had a deep love for this image. Now Jesus has appeared to several different people like St. Faustina. She has, he has appeared with the, for the divine mercy and he has an image for that. He, there's the infant of Prague. So there's different images of Jesus, Jesus crucified, all these different images. And the reason that they are, there are different images is kind of to have a connection because we're all very different and God wants to connect with each one of us and the ways that we're different. So for me, this is the image where I just feel so connected to Jesus. I really truly do. And the reason that I do was, well, it's kind of funny because this image, my mom bought this um, this picture at a garage sale when I was really little and I feel like that was totally God because I have always had a great love for this image, this particular image. And there were several times within my life that I felt lonely or unloved, unwanted, and I would come to this image. My mom let me have this sacred heart of Jesus in my room and I felt so special that she would let me have this like such a rich, beautiful picture in my room. And I just remember several times throughout my childhood and my life looking at this image and just feeling God's love for me. Because if you see the image, it is literally Jesus's heart on fire. And the reason that his heart is on fire is because he is in love with us. His heart burns with love for us. And what better you know, thing to have to know how loved you are from a young age. So that's why I've always loved this image of, of Jesus. I mean, I love the crucifix and you know, all these other images as well, but this is probably my most favorite one. And it's interesting because you can actually enroll your family and your home with this sacred heart of Jesus. And I absolutely love that. And pretty much what it is, is there's there's formal ways that you can do that. So I just printed this up. This is um, how you can do it. Like if you wanna look up formally how to do that, you know, have a enrollment, enroll your family and your home in this process, you can do that. And I'll put the links down below, but pretty much I just printed it out and it gives you like the formal prayers that you can do. Um, they have, and they encourage you to enroll your home and your family in this once, at least once a year type of thing. Now I'm going to be honest, I've never enrolled um, me or my family into the Sacred Heart of Jesus. So as soon as we move, I am going to be doing that and I'm really excited because like I said, this is my favorite image. And what you wanna do is you want to get the Sacred Heart of Jesus and they're at every Catholic bookstore pretty much and they're kind of all over. You can get them on Amazon. Um, like I said, this one is pretty much antique. I got this from a garage sale. You can go to a thrift store, see if they have them there. And, um, and you wanna put it in your home where everyone can see it. That's kind of a big thing. And um, never be ashamed of the image of Christ or anything like that because we're not worshiping it. We worship Jesus, but this image does help us. It helps me to grow closer to God. Like I said, I had several times in my childhood where I felt lonely, I felt like no one loved me, different things, I would see this image and I saw that that was not true, that God loved me. So I think it's really important to have images like this in our home. So this particular image, they say to put it where everyone can see it, that you know you walk by it constantly. I already in my new home know where I'm gonna have the image. We're gonna have a whole prayer room, which is 
um, in the main living space but off to the side so I'm gonna definitely be putting um, the image there and I'm gonna enroll our family in it and do I think we're gonna do these so my husband will read through it and um, and the children will kind of listen and then we always talk about what we just did like whether it is the Jesse tree or the station of the cross or whatever we always want to dive deeper into what we just did so it's not just oh my parents did this weird thing of you know doing an enrollment but they actually know what it is and why we do it and stuff so so there are lots of really awesome promises actually 12 promises that he promises um, St. Margaret Mary to anyone who has this image in their home and one of them is that he promises that he will protect the home which is one of the stories that I really want to share with you so earlier this year we had a huge hurricane come through where we live like devastating hurricane a lot of people um, their homes have mold in it thankfully no one in my area died or anything but everyone had to evacuate and we left the, our home for a week and a half it might have been two weeks actually it was pretty bad there was no electricity and where we live there is um it's very humid so there was a lot of mold that happened because the electricity was out and there was no air conditioning or anything like that so um but before we left i asked on youtube actually if you guys would pray that my house would be protected and i had actually great confidence and i think that's one of the main keys with any of these devotions is to have confidence and to trust that god will answer these prayers and sure enough um, we came back after almost two weeks and um, our house was fine and almost every house around us and our whole like area where we live was a lot of mold devastation all of that within their home um, which was very sad it was a very hard time in fact a lot of the houses around us are still vacant to this day um, but I trusted that the Sacred Heart, that Margaret Mary, you know, how Jesus promised, that that would happen and that God would protect it. And I've heard of miracles happening very similar to that, where there was a church in Australia and um, there was flooding everywhere except for this church that had the Sacred Heart of Jesus in it, you know, and every house and everything around it was gone, you know, and stuff. So several stories like that. There's a lot of miracles that have, um, been attributed to having this image in your house and stuff and so just trusting that these promises are true and that God will protect you and your family and help you grow closer to God through um through it is a huge thing so um anyway so that is one of the things that I wanted to share with you. I just encourage you to get an image of the Sacred Heart in your home and to have it somewhere where your kids can, you know, walk by it every day, that you can, that you know you are loved, that you are secure in God's love and that this image will remind you of how much he loves you, you know. I will, like I said, leave a link down below on how to enroll the enrollment ceremony you don't have to do this you can kind of just in your own family like just kind of make up a prayer talk about jesus and just say jesus we give this house to you we give you our family and that's really what it is you are giving your home and your family to christ you're kind of handing it over to him and i just think that's beautiful and i think that's beautiful for the kids to see that as well so they have um said like his like i said his day is coming up like the the feast day but you can also do you know on your wedding anniversary you could do birthdays you could do your baptism day you know there's different days that you could renew this every year and kind of make a celebration out of it especially with little kids i feel like they really look forward to those type of things and stuff so to make a bigger deal of it maybe have cupcakes or whatever it is so anyway I just encourage you to get this image in your house and to give your family your life your home everything to to the sacred heart of Jesus and until next time I will see you all later God bless bye